so hopefully this goes smoothly. I am moving out. I don't want to stop making content when I graduate OT school, but it was the biggest shit show. Hi YouTube, kind of a weird day here in Sandra's house. We're gonna go get a Home Depot trailer, despite the fact that we own a trailer. <laughs> But our trailer is currently buried in three feet of snow and the reason we're getting a trailer is to pick up a snow blower because we have another big storm coming and we were gonna wait till fully the end of the season but after the last three foot snowstorm we are done so the reason we had to get a trailer from home depot is because that is where our trailer is and that is two feet of snow. It goes up to my knee. So, we spent $20 instead of digging it out. That was worth it to us. Next step is going back to Home Depot to drop off the trailer and then we're done. So hopefully this goes smoothly. I am moving out. It's happening. I'm dog sitting for about three weeks. It's only about 20 minutes away, but I need to pack some stuff out. I've already set it all out. I'm gonna pack my clothes into this bag because I am too lazy for a suitcase. That's my clothes for now. I'm sure I'll bring more as we go and then I should bring a different bag for toiletry stuff. That is more or less my pile of crap that I need for the next three weeks. Like I said, it's 20 minutes away so I'll be back. I grabbed most of the important things. I'm gonna wear a vest just so I have one. It's always nice to layer, especially if you're walking a dog. Welcome to my new house for the next few days and my new friend for the next few, I guess, weeks. I'm gonna go for a run now. Four miles on the docket today. We'll see how it goes. It's warm, it's almost 70 degrees, so I'm not really sure that I'm ready, but I'm gonna try. Going real healthy for dinner tonight. I have a chicken pot pie. Well, that's cooking. Let's have a chit chat, shall we? Um, I think I've kind of alluded to the fact that I don't wanna stop making content when I graduate. OT school, but I don't want to make content about work. Um, partially just like, I don't want my whole life to be OT. I love occupational therapy, but it's not everything that I love. And I think if I were to only make content about like work and occupational therapy, I'd get so burnt out so fast and that wouldn't be good for anyone. So I wanted to just chit chat about where the future of this channel is going because we have a matter of weeks left until I'm done with OT school. Obviously, I'm going to continue to share the rest of my time in school, the process of graduating and the process of passing my board exams because I think that that'll be both interesting and also like my experience might help you because there's not currently a lot of experiences out there. But then we're gonna shift gears a little bit. And I I started this channel making content about the outdoors. Actually, I think my first video was either Moab or a week long ski trip that I did with a friend on spring break of college, which was like the epitome of, both of those trips were the epitome of bumming it. And I just love that kind of like adventure content and the stories that unfold with the outdoor adventure. Like you don't go on a hike and not have a story at the end of it. Being outside is one of my, my personal biggest hobbies. I'm a very mediocre and amateur outdoorsman. Um, do a lot of amateur <laughs> trail running, a lot of uh, car camping, we have a rooftop tent and we like to get into some fun places. And so I really wanna shift gears and center my content both about my life living in the mountains close to Denver as well as my life in the outdoors. I'll continue to talk about occupational therapy because if I share about my life living in Denver, that's gonna be a huge piece of my life, but I don't want my channel to be centered around it as strongly as it has been in grad school. I think that's the direction we're gonna head. I wanna continue to get better at storytelling and continue to get better at capturing moments because I love looking back at these, but the moments that I capture and the stories that I tell will be less about occupational therapy school, obviously, because I'll be done with it, and more just about me and my life and the things that I love to do and share. That's where we're going. I hope you're down for the ride. Thank you for being here up to this point and I hope that my content has been helpful for you. I've gotten so many comments. I just got a comment today actually that was like, I watched all your interview tips videos and I just got my acceptance today, which was just like so sweet. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this content because there just wasn't a lot of it out there. And in that I have fallen in love with content creation and video making and learned so much and continue to improve and I want to keep doing that in ways that are relevant to me. So anyways, I'm gonna eat a chicken pot pie and go babysit tonight. Good morning. I thought I'd blend a couple of days together here because, um, because I can't. She's eating. Anyways, I'm gonna go meet some friends for coffee and study. <laughs> A 
Okay, well the thrift store was a bust. I might actually go see if I can take a nap. I'm very tired. Somebody was snoring all night. We'll see if I can sleep, it's noon. You know what I wish? I wish Costco had baskets. Cause I need four things. And that's just like a little too much to carry, but not enough to fully justify a cart. And you bet your bottom dollar, I'm not gonna push a cart around Costco for four things. So I'm just getting my arms full. So you probably won't see me in there. It was the biggest shit show of a grocery trip that has ever shit showed of a grocery trip. <laughs> on my way in, I did decide to get a cart. Biggest mistake of my life because I cut my toe on the bolt on the inside of the wheel and am wearing brand new Birkenstocks. So it must be a deep cut. I haven't looked or done anything yet. Um, but I bled a puddle into my Birkenstocks, which is fine. Like, they're just sandals, but it's also just like they're new. And then everybody in there had every hour of every day to be in Costco and was just taking their sweet time, which is fine. It's your right to take your time at Costco, but just be aware and don't stop to talk to someone that you haven't seen in a while in the middle of the freaking main aisle. I had to say, excuse me. We're trying to get by and there was a line of 50 people behind me that had just come into Costco. Have a little bit of awareness. I uh, couldn't find anything and then I was walking out and I got a box of blueberries and the box popped open and the blueberries spilled all over the parking lot and there was, I would just wasn't going to do anything about it. So I only have half the blueberries that I paid for, which it's fine. It's just not my day. watch the crown because it's on and I will see you for the next one if you want you can catch another one here